All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eric Richardson, and this is my first YouTube video. So what we're doing here is starting a little bit of a homestead project, and I've always been a gardener for quite some time. First video, I know I'm not the best at it. This is a, a new camera we got. But I want to show you guys a little bit of the property. Daniel, say hey. It's my son Daniel. He's carrying some lettuce. We're going to go feed our chickens. This is the garden area. Woo! I gotta figure out how to focus on this thing. But we will have more on the garden soon. And I will show you guys how to plant onions this week. But right now we're going to do a favorite thing. Come on, Daniel. Let's go feed some chickens. Daddy's got to learn how to video, and you're going to learn how to feed some chickens. And we are on the way. Or I am on the way. I've got some crushed eggshells and leftovers from the kids. Chickens can eat anything. Anything. Just about. I'll do a video on everything I'm feeding the chickens. How you can stop waste, yard waste, all that fun stuff. And as soon as I get in here, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm doing. All right, my chickens are black astrolorp chickens. These are probably about four weeks old right now, roughly. And we're going to change their water, of course, every day. In their water, I use apple cider vinegar, oregano that I grow from the garden, and garlic, fresh crushed garlic. These are antibiotics, natural antibiotics, natural, you know, they keep them worm free. So it's, it's going good so far. Let me get uh, the food tray out. Let me back this up. Oh, what's up, fellas? Good morning. Good morning. Here is a bucket of scrap food that I collect from the cafeteria at where I work. And when I get the pigs, I'll be able to use this food to feed them as well. This is just some old sandwiches and stuff that we're going to throw out. It's got ham and all that in it, cheese, there's a little bit of lettuce in the mixture. But this, to me, is free chicken food, not trash. Just throw the eggshells in, the egg, everything the kids didn't eat this morning just like that. And we're going to feed the chickens. Oh, everybody out the way. Here's one in the bowl already. Woo -woo. Careful. Careful, guys. All right, yeah. Celebrate. I think they like it. But these chickens, when I got them, they were roughly about no more than six ounces or so a piece. Now each one of them average weight is about two and a half pounds. Some are three. And they're getting pretty, getting pretty stout. But we will show you the watering project here in a minute. I'll show you exactly what I do. Pick up the dirty water. And there's Daniel with the lettuce. Daniel, bring Daddy the lettuce. This is some lettuce we picked from the garden. I picked it for the family when my wife's mother and grandmother come down. Uh, nobody decided to eat it, so it's gone a little bad sitting out on the counter. But it's perfect chicken food. I use no pesticides, no herbicides in my garden. So that'll be the second round of food today. And of course, 20% of what you feed a chicken can be greens. <clears throat> Let's go change the water. Daniel, you want to get the gate for Daddy? Can you get the gate for Daddy? Come on. Thank you, sir. Close that gate back for Daddy. Got it? Close it back. Close it back. 
And wham. Good job. Good job. There's Spot, the vicious guard dog, the Dalmatian. All right, I just want to show you guys real quick. If you're not familiar with chickens, if you're a newbie like I am, I've had them years ago when I was young, but you can see the water here. And I use shredded paper and fresh pine mulch with the chickens. But they love to kick it up in there and it gets dirty. And for me, that could harbor potential bacteria. So what we're going to do is clean this water daily, which is what I'm doing right now. Daniel, you got to get out of the way of the camera, buddy. <laughs> I'm sure my comment section is going to be all. Are you going to pick up the camera for Daddy? Uh oh you got to face it toward me. That's okay. They'll get a good shot of the grass like that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank oh, man, we're going to have some editing to do when we get our software, huh? All right, I've got fresh rainwater in there. This is my rain barrel. I don't use city water for my chickens. I just collect rainwater from the gutter, and it does good. This one here holds about 250 gallons. So, next ingredient, as I told you guys, oregano from the garden. Daniel, let's go get oregano. I found that oregano itself can be a natural antibiotic. It's very wonderful. And of course, I don't vaccinate the chickens or anything like that. So, I think I broke my hanger. Uh oh. We'll have to get another way to lock the gate, huh? And here's my little bit of oregano. I am so sorry, guys, about the uh, video quality at the time. So I'm going to pick a few leaves of this and put it in their water. Crush it up and put it in their water. Fresh oregano always seems to do the trick. I haven't had any issues with worms or disease. None of them peck at each other. But what I do is kind of grind this up a little bit in my hand and put it right in the water. I'm going to set this here and put the top on the water. Oh, yeah. I've already added my apple cider vinegar to the water. I didn't show you guys that. Now, we flip the water back over. We've got fresh, clean water for our chickens every day. Let's do this. Oh, Daniel. Daddy's need to work on his camera work, huh? Come on, buddy. How to be more stable when you're walking. Maybe I need to research one of those YouTube videos, huh? All right, I got to open up the gate, buddy. You can close it back, though. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. All right, it is winter here in South Carolina. Well, our definition of a winter. It's roughly about 46 degrees right now. So I'm still using a heat lamp. I didn't follow any measurements or anything on it. They seem to be wonderful just the way they are. Happy, it keeps them well ventilated. So they're good to go. Fresh water, fresh food, and I've been giving them grit as well. And this is just crushed uh, seashells. And I'll show you guys how to do that in another video if you like this one. Which I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of work you're going to have to teach me as I go. I'm a, I'm a YouTube rookie. So what we're going to do now, since it is starting to warm up just a little bit, we're expecting a high of 60 today. We're going to shut the door and give the chickens a little bit of peace. Mm-hmm. So no predators can get in. And we're going to come out here. And we're going to open up these two doors. Which are the sliding glass doors to the building. 
if there's one thing I can do for my chickens is make sure they have good fresh air and as little as stress as possible. That's my ultimate goal is feeding them as fresh as I can from the garden, using them to recycle wasted food, and eventually meat and eggs. As you know, black ostrilorps are dual purpose chickens. They're wonderful chickens. That means they lay eggs and you can get meat from them. So now we're going to show you the beginning of a project. Now I'm going to cut it off and go inside and learn how to edit my first YouTube video. Daniel, you want to go to garden? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go garden. <clears throat> let's show everybody on YouTube the garden. All right, all right, all right. Good, 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 good. Let's go to the garden. Oh, I've got uh, I've got a lot of questions for you guys, and I'm gonna have to ask them in the comment section of videos as we go along. Um, lighting, what to do about moving? I'm sure I shake quite a bit with this camera. This is a Hitachi camera, something my mother she bought me for Christmas. But I want to show you guys an overview of the garden because I want to do a lot of videos. This here is the compost pile. I take used hay from neighbors from Halloween, leaves, old pumpkins, uh, toilet paper rolls, coffee grounds, eggshells. I could do a whole whole series on composting. I got another pile here, just fresh leaves and stuff that the neighbors give me, grass clippings. Pile back there is wood chips. This is the chicken coop. And we'll do a tour of that. And inside my garden right now, I don't have much growing. I've been quite busy this year trying to get my nursing degree. But luckily, I am falling back on that now. I'm working more full time. So I'll have more time at home, less stress. I've still got some lemon balm, the oregano growing. Keep that growing year round. And I've got some collars down here. But all this that I'm walking on was once about 14 inches of wood chips. The tree companies delivered the wood chips for free and a little bit of elbow grease later and I filled in this area. This used to be about three feet lower. This is probably a good 200 bags of leaves here that I get from a company I do yard work with on the side. So it's all free, most of us delivered. This is a peach tree I started from a sucking, a little suckling. It was probably about 10 inches long when I planted it last year, and it is just loving the soil. But I'm going to try and do my best to get the video quality a little better. Right now the lighting is horrible. It's very bright. I've got a blueberry in the corner, and I'm going to upload some pictures and show you like a beginning to end how it looked in the, in the beginning when I had it in the summer. I mean, you couldn't see none of this. It was all covered in green lush vegetables. Daniel, I got to work on my talking too, buddy. And I've got a little bit of collars there. I planted those late. These are the smallest collars I've ever had. But we're going to see if we can't work on it. I use the, um, for borders in my garden, this was a pine tree that fell, so it's natural. Didn't really cost me nothing but gas in the chainsaw, and I just carried it over here. This is some oak wood that was given to me cinder blocks that I bought for five cent a piece when they were on discount at Lowe's. Use what you can for borders. I wasn't really going for presentation in my garden when I started it. But we will see what we can do better. If you guys can tell me anything I can do better in the videos, uh, let me know. Uh, I know this is my first YouTube video. This is my first time ever recording a video with this camera. This is an FHD 1080p high definition. Uh, I think that's all I should, I don't know what else to tell you. But uh, first ever video, trying to get it together, just trying to learn on my own. Yes, I'm a rookie. Yes, I'm sure I've made mistakes. But hopefully you guys can help me in the comment section to get me a decent little YouTube channel going. That's, that's the ultimate goal. I want to share my knowledge and hopefully not sound too stupid in the process. 
because I've been doing this for quite some time and I've been able to, in the past four years, to be self-sufficient from this garden when it's up and running and going. And for the last three years, I haven't bought green beans, potatoes, any herbs. I've been able to grow it all myself, can it, preserve it. So that's, that's a good thing. But we can always do better, and that's something else I can learn from y'all too. There could be something y'all see that could be greatly improved. My goals, uh, I eventually want more chickens. I've got 22 chickens now. I'm going to eventually get some more pigs. I'm going to fence them in back here. And we're going to see if we can't rotate them. And the main question is a cow. I've had a cow at the property I lived at before. It was a Dexter. My yard is roughly an acre and a half total back to front. So I would have to rotationally graze. The grass here grows very well. So comments, questions, concerns on that. I know that's a lot. Again, YouTube rookie. Hopefully you guys can straighten me out and get me on the right path. But thank you. And Edge Family Homestead, that's going to be the name of it, even though it's just a beginner's homestead gardener. But that's the ultimate goal. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if the film work annoyed you. We'll work on that. Thank you. Daniel, say bye-bye. Okay.